Kia ora, ko Alice Toko Ingoa, and this is my channel. That I'm trying out more today on Māori as I have said in my past few videos. If you haven't seen already, um, I uploaded a few vlogs recently and I've got another one that's going up actually before this one, even though this has been filmed while well, that one's been filmed, because my hair is the same. Those videos are vlogs for my events. I do like artist alley events for my business, which I do full time, which is this video is kind of related to because today, if you can't tell by the title already, I'm going to tell you, walk you through all of the nerdy candles I own in my personal collection because if I showed you all of them, technically I currently own a lot more, but they're sitting on the shelf waiting to be sold because I own the business, so. You know. Today we are talking about the collection of nerdy candles I own and ones I like and don't like. I have candles for myself which is a waste of scents as well as a few other businesses which I will link down below. Otherwise this video is just kind of a little bit fun um, and before we get into the video I want to mention that my favourite scents are musky, lemon, citrus scents. I really like like manly scents but they're not actually manly because there's no you know but if you're talking about in terms of candle makers, if you say a masculine scent, it does tend to be more musky and like men, manly, and it's the sort of scents I like. Uh, so I don't tend to like a little like bakery sweet scents. Um, and saying that I do own some, but yes, we will get on in with this video. If you guys want to purchase any of these candles um, that are from my own personal collection, from my own personal candles, I will leave a link to my shop down below. Uh, some of these are ones I won't sell anymore, but. I will mention if they're like ones that are still available in my store and all that stuff. So yes, let's get on in with the video. I own 47 nerdy candles, uh, majority of them being my own. The reason why I own a lot of my own or like have them in my collection is I tend to keep like really ugly ones or if I have a little bit of wax I just pour it off or that sort of stuff. So I have a few that are like my personal stuff but I also do keep the ones I like myself. So. We are going to start with uh, a company I don't buy from. Uh, and that is Raz Candles. I don't know if they've changed their name. I own two candles from Raz Candles. The first one is a Serpent and Dove one. This was like from months ago, like over a year ago. It is scented in violet, jasmine, cinnamon, clove, and a touch of sandalwood. I've actually burnt through it, so it's like dead <laughs> now. So I'm not going to show you a close up. I'll only show you a close up of like pretty ones. I really like the scent because it's kind of like. It reminds me of like a bath time. Uh, I don't think they do it anymore, but that's why I bought it because I just read Serpent and Dove at the time, so I was very excited. And then the other one I own, which is one I didn't actually end up with that much because it's too sweet for me, and that is Luna Love Good. It is scented in rainbow stripe, sour stripes, and it's also like burnt to hell. So I probably should just get rid of these because uh, they're both burnt through. Um, it's really important. I actually think I've got one burn left in this that you leave like half an inch of wax in the bottom, otherwise, not for tin so much, but more for glass, they could explode. So. That's those two. The next candle I got in a box. I got it in an owl crate. This is on the box. On the candle. And that is Master of Caraval by Rose and Adda. This one is scented in sugared citrus and sea salt. I've owned this one for two years now. Oh, it looks terrible on the inside, as you can see. But it smells really nice. It's a little bit sweet. And I like the citrus scent in it. So that's why I enjoyed it. Um, and I probably have another two burns in it, but I really, I didn't do well with this candle. Um, as someone who makes candles, you should think I would know how to burn candles quickly, and I do, but I also don't do it. Um, because I'm lazy, and I know that I can just get new candles really easily. So, that's this one. The next candles I have are, are from Burn the Wick Candle Co, and I got all of these in boxes as well. The first one is Julian Santos from Caravelle and this one's scented in cotton candy. This one was part of Erin's Erin's Pop Box exclusive where I got a Legend one and I really tunneled this candle. <laughs> I will fix it because I actually quite like the scent. It's cotton candy which is a little bit sweet but I do like the cotton candy scent surprisingly um, and it's just like a really nice red. I think there was glitter on top I can't remember but yeah there was a little bit of glitter on top but I really tunneled this one so I need to fix it. Uh, I do know how to fix tunneling candles if you guys want to know I can show you like a little video on it otherwise yeah. And then the next two I have are both from the um, No Shelf Control box. The very first one is Darlington and Galaxy Stern from uh, Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Uh, Galaxy Stern is sent in a pomegranate stage. Uh, this, but the wick tab came off, so I couldn't actually finish burning, and I was only about halfway through, which really disappointed me. I should probably just turn it into wax now. And then the Darlington, I haven't burnt because I'm scared of this thing happening to it. That is Santa Water Mask, which I really like the scent of, and it's really pretty. So, there's those two. 
Moving on to the next person that is Fairy Tale Candles. Alicia no longer makes candles. Uh, she stopped sometime last year, I'm not exactly sure. But she also was a New Zealand based candle person so I bought quite a few from her. I actually ended up like unhauling some of them to my friends because I bought them just on a whim and I didn't really need them so I got rid of the ones to my friends I didn't really love. The first one is Mrs. Weasley's Knitted Sweaters. This is scented in, sh this is scented in cinnamon, plum and red fruits. I may have burnt through this one as well but it was very nice. I really enjoyed it and it had like a little H and a little um, like yarn ball on top. Really cute. I really miss that Alicia doesn't make candles anymore because she makes some of the cutest candles and I would still buy them even though I make my own candles because I just love how cool they are. I've got three more that I've also burnt through but I don't think I'll get rid of the tins because I like having them on my shelf. The first one is Morrigan from A Quarter Thousand Roses. Um, this one had a cool design on top. I think it was like a little earring or something. This one was also scented in cinnamon leaf orange just and vanilla bean and it was like a thing I think it was cinnamon orange tint because it smells really similar to one I currently use and I did burn through it I did tunnel a little bit but it's fine I might also take the excess wax and turn it into a wax mount we'll see how I feel another one that I really enjoyed was uh scented in lily mandarin and freesia and that is Emma Carstairs from the dark artifices I think it's the name of the series this one smells very nice and fresh and clean and I also burnt through it but it's really lovely blue wax and then the final one that I actually haven't finished burning through probably should oh it smells so nice that is Katie Grant from uh the Illuminae Files by Jake Herself and Amy Kaufman who I know have been a little bit controversial recently I still love them so um that is Jasmine Pear and Freesia's and it was like this little lovely pink wax and it has some glitter on top and a little keyboard from memory I got this like right when I started like a year after I started making candles but like when I first discovered Alicia and saw how affordable it was because she was based in New Zealand so that's that one. Then we have two candles that I won't ever burn because I love them so much. The first one is Resand from um, A Quarter Thorns and Roses and that is scented in Jasmine Fresh Rain and Blue Musk. Oh, it's, it's right up in my alley in scents and it's got like a little thing I'll show you a little close up when we're talking but it's got three stars and some little wax mount uh, wings. It has discolour which is pretty normal for wax mounts um, especially for making candles I know that they're discolour but it just smells so beautiful and it's totally my sort of scent. I love Blue Musk as a scent in general so I'm very partial to this one. And then the other one is Kaz Bricker which is scented in Bonfire Ocean Wood Ocean Air and Tobacco Woods which smells also right up my alley. I love it so much and it's got a little crow's head and some gold glitter. I'll also show you a close up of that at the end while well, like during this. You'll be seeing it right now. Moving on to the next company is one I no longer buy from but only because I now make my, more of my own nerdy candles so I just don't feel a need to buy from too many similar people to me but Spark and Sparrow run by Maddie in Perth, Australia it has some amazing candles, some of my favourites. There's a few I don't really love um, but that's just my personal taste. I think they're all really beautiful and stuff and I can see why she's really popular on Instagram. So these are her candles and I'll show you the ones I've burnt through first and then the ones I haven't burnt at all. One of my favourites, um, because I absolutely love Renegades, it's called One Cannot Be Brave Who Has No Fear and this is scented in avocado and mint. Um, I don't like avocado or mint but this scent in particular I really like and it was this beautiful red colour. Uh, really pretty, I love this candle. And I, uh, um, and a little mini sample I got with an order one time is Era I Am Not Merciful or Am I Not Merciful and it's scented in pear and persimmon which was actually a candle at one point that she released one month. Um, I really like scent of this. I'm not the biggest fan of pear but for some reason this really smells nice. Uh, it was a really beautiful orange with orange glitter. Um, I don't think I can actually get this one open. I think that it was stuck closed but this is Pygmy Puff. It was scented in grape bubblegum. Um, I tried. You can tell me like I'm trying right now to open it. I don't know why I can't. I think I accidentally sealed it shut. I think Byron moved it or something when I just burnt it or something like that. Um, this was a pink I'm pretty sure. It smelled really nice but also it was a little bit too sweet for me so it's just gonna live forever on my shelf. One I particularly didn't like and that was just my personal taste is scented in sandalwood and geranium. I think it's the geranium for me. My mum loves this candle though. Um, <laughs> sorry. It was a white candle and it was called the Arcane Academy. I've still got to read this book um, but it was alright, it just wasn't my favourite candle. One I have been loving recently though is High Fae scented in lychee and peony which I've just finished burning. Um, I don't think, maybe I'll do one more burn, but it was this beautiful pink color and had like green and pink glitter. I loved it so much. It's really beautiful scent. Um, if it's still available in the store, I totally recommend checking this one out because I really like it. The next candle was involved in a pop box as well from Erin's Erin's and that is Abraxos and his Wildflowers from Game of Thrones. No. <laughs> from what's the name of the book series from throne of glass i can't believe i called it the wrong name um this one's scented in peony wild rose violets and jasmine it smelled very nice um a bit too florally for me i don't know how to describe it because i like some florals and don't like others uh but it was this really nice like 
black wax with uh, glitter on top. Very cool. I think these three I haven't burnt yet. Um, this one I definitely haven't. This is Goblet of Fire, Scented in Berries, Orange and Musk. This had like blue glitter on top and it was orange wax. I am going to burn this eventually um, but because it's so pretty and I really like the scent I'm holding off on it. Then we have the Inner Circle which is scented in lemon sugar raspberry. It doesn't actually smell very lemony. It smells just like sweet. It's quite nice, a bit too bland. I don't know how to describe it, but it has really cool glitter on top, which you'll be seeing right now, and it's a, like a grey wax. I like it. It got it came in a box as well, I'm pretty sure. And then the last one, which I've been avoiding um, burning because I really like scent, even though it's got stuff all over it, is uh, the Death Star that is scented in sweet orange and chili. It is just white with uh, silver glitter, very pretty. Or well, it's actually like a dark grey. The last candle I have from Spark and Sparrow is TBR, and this one is scented in vanilla and cocoa beans. It has started to discolour, um, and I probably won't ever use this candle. I might just offload it to Byron because I don't actually like the scent of it. I think it's the cocoa beans. For me, it just smells too sickly sweet, and I'm not the biggest fan of vanilla scents, so that's that one. Moving on to my own candles. This one's a bit hard because some of them don't have labels. This one though. This one is Elias which I released in March. Um, doesn't have a label because I'm actually testing this jar sneak peek for something. <laughs> I have other things in amber pots so if you know what those are this is what this jar's testing. Uh, the wick's too small though so I'm just slowly savouring my burning through. It's just not too, it's like just on the edge so I'm gonna test um, one wick size bigger. But uh, I love the scent. It's scented in rain and spices. It's just so yummy. It kind of smells like, I don't know, it smells something like I want to eat it a little bit. But um, that's that. It was an orange wax. I made this at the same time I was making other candles and I just felt this is the one I wanted to make. And another candle that doesn't have a label was this one. This is actually a John Ambrose candle. It's scented in white macadamia and chocolate, I think, from memory, and berries. Uh, I released this last year in... February as part, or maybe March, as part of the, or two of the boys' second movie coming out. Um, Byron and I really like this candle. The reason why it doesn't have a label is because I just made it on a whim. <laughs> While I was pouring them, I had a bit more extra wax, so I made this. I really like it though. Um, a candle that I saved just because it was too small was Hades. This is actually a candle that's in my permanent collection, but this is part of my old scent, so it's like, I don't like these jars because they do this weird, ugly thing. Um, Hades, yes. This is scented in fresh snow and clean linen, but I've actually had to change my fresh snow scent because the supplier got rid of the fresh snow. Didn't mention anything. Thanks, suppliers. Um, and so now it's a different one, so it's not as sweet and like subtle anymore. It's a little bit more spicy, which I think actually suits Hades as he's grown throughout Laura Olympus. I know that he's Hades in general, but it's specifically Laura Olympus Hades. The next candle I have from my personal collection and from my own business is Jesper from uh, Six of Crows. I am, right now, it's the day before Shadow and Bone comes out, so I'm so stressing, but by the time this comes out, Shadow and Bone will have been out. Um, this one. It's one of my all-time favourites, which is why I have not burnt much of it. This is Citrus, Basil, Gunpowder and Musk. It is literally like perfection in a candle for me. Um, I just re-released these recently to use up the rest of the gunpowder scent. Um, yeah, I love this candle. A another candle. I'm just going to stop saying another candle. The next candle is Raylo. This one was released last year in August, I'm pretty sure. It is centred in Blackberry and Dark Rose. It has been tunneled really badly. I did a shit job at burning my own personal candle. I was being a bit lazy because uh, I just burn it when I play games every so often so I don't actually burn it for the whole time. Um, but it's, I really like scent so that's why I kept one for myself. And also I did the label really badly on this one. I like fully put it off the side which is why I kept it. This candle here is one of my all time favourites and it's because it's like sugared cookie. It's um, scented in Snickerdoodle. And this was uh, Laura Jean's or like Christmas Cookie Bonanza which is inspired by Tall the Boys I Love Before which is one of my favourite series. Um, the scent became unavailable as soon as I bought it so I couldn't buy more but I made, I know I saved one sample to him for myself. This one here is not actually the scent, um, I'm pretty sure this is like cedarwood and crisp linen tonka. This is a to be read candle but it was like a test to test out these jars and the work was perfect. I really like the scent, cedarwood, crisp linen tonka. I can make it for you if you want it, it's scents I have available. This next candle is Prithian, which is scented in sour raspberry and peach. Amazing. So I don't love like super sweet scents, but I love them if they're citrusy. And this sour raspberry is amazing. Um, I'm actually bringing these back for one last time because the sour raspberry is no longer available. It's really annoying because I don't know why they just get rid of scents and don't mention it. Um, this one was originally a sorting candle, but this one I'd made not a sorting candle. I just made it for myself. Um, it sorted you into a different court from a court of thorns and roses. Uh, I loved it. And I'm sad that I couldn't 
added to my personal collection or like my permanent collection because I actually was going to until I found out that the scent was gone. Another candle is Resand from A Court of Thorns and Roses. This one was originally part of my um, inner circle box I did last year. Um, cinnamon, orange and sea breeze. I released this as part of something. I can't remember why but it had this sort of like grey and gold and then it eventually morphed into my current recent favourite candle which is actually end of line. I'm getting rid of it because I don't love it as much anymore. I really like cinnamon orange though so that's that one. The candle I do love which is missing a lid, typical me, is Zuko scented in wood smoke, grapefruit and blood orange. This one is actually like an orange candle and it's got like a red drizzle and some glitter as well. It's really popular um, but the wood smoke I had to change up because my supplier it hasn't had it in stock for months. Um, but I really like this one and that's why I saved one for myself. Also the top of it was really ugly which is also why I save a lot of candles for myself and then I start burning them like this one. Um, and I've like done a terrible job, it's like black everywhere and stuff. I think the final candle from my collection that I have burnt so far is Beetlejuice. This one I released it for Halloween, it is scented in pumpkin chai latte. I have probably one burn left in it, I love the scent. Um, which is why I actually just made the candle in general, I got the scent as a test and I was like I need to make a Beetlejuice candle. If you didn't know already I love Beetlejuice. Uh, I cosplayed Lydia for the last event and I'm going to cosplay her again soon. Uh, this one is just a white candle with a black drizzle and some like multi gold pink and green glitter. Really suits people to the character. Um, I will be bringing it back for Halloween this year. Now we are moving on to candles I haven't burnt yet so you'll see the front of like the top of all of these. The first ones are going to be my Caraval collection. The first one we have is Dante. This one is scented in blue musk and amber and fun fact it's actually one of the very first candles I ever released. Um, I actually updated the look of it though and now it's just got glitter on top before it had nothing on top because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> um, I really like the scent though and it is really like my scent. This is why I brought it back for myself. The next one from the Caraval collection is Scarlet scented in Sugar Plum and Red Currant. This one's not one of my favourites but because I wanted to make the whole Caraval collection I decided to keep them all for myself because I love Caraval. This one has gold glitter and red glitter on top as well as just like a pinky red Color. Then we have Julian which is scented in brown sugar and snow. Um, he was really ugly on top. <laughs> just realised it now. And he's just got gold glitter on top. I don't really like this candle personally. Um, but I like Julian as a character so that's why I kept it. And then finally from the collection is also another character. I, well a character I like but a candle I don't like. I just don't like the scent. It's Hot Spice Cocoa. A lot of people love this scent. Um, it's also known as Hot Cinnamon Cocoa, um, but I changed the name just to suit the character. Uh, this candle is like a cobalt blue with um, silver and blue glitter on top. Um, really popular during the month of March. I made all my candles pre-order and this will be the most popular Caraval candle I had. Um, I can see why people like it, but for me, just because as much as I love like cinnamony scents and spicy scents, um, I just don't like I think it's quite sickly, but a lot of people loved it and I actually have used it quite a few times now. And people love it. So the next candle is a soaker and I made I bought this back just for Wellington. I'm getting for myself personally. Um this one's scented in fig and melon. Oh, it smells so good. It has like um it's an orange wax, which suits the soaker, and then with a white and a blue drizzle. This one has discolored a little bit, which is pretty normal, but you still get the idea. Soakers, those three colours. She's such a cool character, one of my favourite Star Wars characters, so that's that candle, and I saved myself a little mini one. This candle here is from my first merch box. Um, I did want to save one of the other ones and we'll see how it goes. I'm putting them back up on sale for a week or so and then I'll take them off the store um, for my re-release. But this one is Buffy Summers. I made too many um, and <laughs> I should show you the candle. It is scented in sunshine and smoke which is actually um, not that. That's what I called it. It's a few different scents. But she's a vampire slayer. Um, has really cool like glitter on top. This was actually meant to be silver but it discolored. Fun fact. Um, no one knows that. <laughs> and it's got like multi red, is that red? I think pink glitter, gold glitter, silver glitter, multi glitter, kind of like exploding vampire. I don't know how to describe it. This candle is uh, the wrong colour. That was, was my original test candle and I made it purple instead of blue somehow. Um, and so I saved it for myself. This is Addie LaRue scented in honey book pages and coffee and it's actually becoming a permanent candle for the rest of the year. Oh wow, that's really high up. Uh, it's got two little gold stars on it and some little gold glitter. Um, I like this candle. That's why I'm making it permanent for the rest of the year. I also have more coffee scent than I thought I did. So that's why I've decided to make it permanent for the rest of the year. And it was really popular and had enough requests for it to stay for a bit. So that's that one. Then I have Hetty, which is scented in pine sea salt from Wilder Girls. I'm really unfortunately Rory Power has like been come out as like being friends with someone who's 
I, I really wish that Emily A. Duncan wasn't the way that she, they were because I really enjoyed um, Wicked Saints, but they are, and Rory Powers is friends with them. So anyway, um, I loved the Wilder Girls though. So this candle, it has a really nice scent. It's like very piney, but fresh. <laughs> um, and it's got pink glitter and a dark green gr drizzle, which kind of suits the cover of the book. Then we have Cal from A Darker Shade of Magic, which is another book series I really enjoyed. And this one is Scented and Fresh Cut Flowers, which is actually a mashup of Chrysanthemum, Yellow Roses, and another scent. I can't remember which one. It smells so nice. Um, it's like a subtle flowers. It has black glitter on top and it's just a red candle. Suiting Cal as a character. The next candle is a mini candle I have for myself from the Overload candles and it's Kimini Todoke from um, the same thing. I didn't even like do an inspired by it to be honest. Um, that's awkward. This one's scented in Japanese wisteria but on the label I just put wisteria. It smells so nice and like lovey and sweet. Um, I saved this one for myself partially because the top was really ugly but also I wanted one and it's just got pink and gold no pink oh yeah pink and gold and purple glitter on top then the last one in the glass jars I have is Cora this one's scented in Earl Grey tea mint and lemon it is inspired by Cora the last airbender no <laughs> Avatar the last airbender but also like Cora I don't know what the series is called just Cora Legend of Cora maybe um this one is interesting I don't know if I like the Earl Grey tea scent but the mint and the lemon it's quite nice. It is a blue candle with a dark blue drizzle and silver glitter. The last three candles I have are all in tins. The first one I have is Kaz Bricker, of course. Um, and I released this in April as part of my April release. So nice. It is scented in sea salt and modern rose. It has a little wax melt on top and um, gold and silver glitter. I originally released Kaz as a soap um, in 2019 in December and so I bought him back as a candle this time around for myself personally, not for anyone else. Then we have uh, the Sand siblings who are inspired by the Naruto siblings, Tamari, Konkuro and Gara. This one is scented in dark amber and alamy. I don't know if I love the scent of this candle but it's still it suits the mysteriousness of the characters as you get to learn about them. It is like a sandy golden colour with um, black glitter and a gold drizzle. The reason why I kept this one as well is because you can see the top's really ugly. Forks, which is inspired by Twilight. It is scented in woods and rainy days. Um, this one I kept because I like forks. I like Twilight. It's very light green with a green glitter and green drizzle. This one it was very popular at Wellington Armageddon. I didn't realise it would be. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but there's just some candles I don't expect to sell out, and this one I did. Um, this one will be coming back for a one time only, mainly because one of the scents I'm trying to use up, so... That is that candle. The very last candle is this one. It is a Xerophile from Good Omens. This one was designed by Bunny Nick as my friend Sam. And this candle is scented in baby powder and Lily of the Valley. Um, this was actually my test candle, but I kept it for myself because why not? It's very nice. It's a big boy, like 600 mils, so triple the size of uh, this one here. You can see the size difference. Um, these ones my friend Sam and I collaborated on and I've got a few collabs coming out while planning in the works with a few other artists. Um, so yeah, that's this candle. I hope you guys enjoyed this little candle tour video as I say. Um, I really enjoy showing things I love and I love candles. Obviously I make them for a living. If you guys want to see more videos like this or like little tour things, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. Next week I'll be vlogging again my reading vlogs. Um, and I also have like a wrap up coming out and a new TBR. Wow, I get to pick a new TBR soon. Um, otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys again. Kakiti ano.